a lot of people who vote for Peter Casey felt that he was talking common sense, whether you agree with them, them or not. And look, it's all well and good saying, you know, I um, think, you know, um, the tra members of the Trafford community, absolutely, they're, they're part of an ethnic minority. But that's just empty re rhetoric, you know, it's just like a meaningless pat on the head. When if you ask the vast majority of people sitting in this audience tonight, watching this programme tonight, if they would mind if travellers moved in next door with them, they, or next door to them, they would say that, you know, we, I have a problem with that or I would have concerns would you? over that. Would you? Would I? Would you have a problem with that? If travellers moved in next door to yeah. me? Well, I think... Well, even, for example, even if uh, travellers moved in next door, you talk about the value of a house. You talk about how difficult it would be to sell your house. And again, unfortunately, that's the reality of it. Before you even get to, you, okay. to whether you, they would be... You, you don't own your property. Uh, would you have a problem uh, with it? Would I have a problem with it? I would be lying if I said that I wouldn't have concerns with it. I'm not saying that that's right, but I'm saying that's ha because of the stereotypes, because of the statistics okay. out there, that I would have concerns. Kira, would you have a problem with it? And I think it would be disingenuous I, I to say that I, I, I wouldn't. But, but okay. then when I sit okay. beside somebody like uh, Martin tonight, who's lovely, I feel, you know, it's, it's, it's sad that I'm saying that, but I'm saying what a lot of people would feel, and it's me being honest, and I don't think I would do you any favours if I sat here lying, saying, no, no, no problem at all, when I'm just, you know saying what a lot of people would feel. I, I, I don't agree, and I, I, I don't, okay, actually don't like this okay, conversation okay, at all, but, but okay, let's well, go there. Okay, if you don't like it, would you, would you have no, any problem with travellers moving in next door? No, I wouldn't mind, because I think, I don't want to live in a society that others people... Wouldn't you caravans are, rock up at the end of your yeah, road yeah, and park on the side of the road? Are you okay, are you okay yeah, with that? Yeah. Well, uh, yes, you, for, for yeah. a lot of different reasons. Okay. But I do think this, I think even the conversation we're having, I think we would never have this conversation about a gay person, a lesbian, a, a black person, a Jew, Kira, a you know Muslim. what? It's a conversation that's in the zeitgeist at the moment. It's a conversation it is, that's but, been but had. And I actually think this. it's really and healthy you know that we have this okay, conversation. Let's just imagine one thing. But do you not think... No, 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 let's just imagine one thing. just wait a minute. We'll just wait a minute. And I want to bring Martin in then. The fact of the matter is, you've just said we clearly need to have a conversation here. You've just said you want to try and understand why a quarter of the, of I the want people to have who a voted, voted for about Peter Casey. Why so don't try and no, shut no, no, down no, no, conversation no, 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 no. on this show. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Hold on, I'm not, and, I'm not and, trying to shut down. I'm trying to make a point. And my point is this. 20 or 30 years ago, the BBC might have had a conversation like this because there were signs around the place saying no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. And how would you think of an Irish person would feel on that show with David Frost or somebody Okay, well, going, let's find out well, how a traveller feels. Martin, I, I how do you feel obnoxious. having... Okay, Martin, how do you feel having heard what Niamh said? And now the traveller. You know... Uh, well, look, you're well, here well, and you well, are Well, look, no, I quite pretend, enjoyed yeah. watching the settled community argue about travellers. I was quite enjoyable for me, you know. I just uh, wanted well, to sound out what, no, no, around no, the table I know. before I no, came I to you that. for your response. I get that. Can I ask you first, how do you feel about what Niamh said? Um, honestly, I'm glad she said it. Because you're right. With, with, with both. In an ideal society, in a utopian society, everyone will be able to get along. And there'll be no worries about your neighbours and there'll be no animosity towards your neighbours. But whether or not I, as a traveller or a non-traveller, and I need to state this very, very clearly, I am not a representative of the travelling community, no more than I'm a representative of the LGBT community. I'm here as an individual. And I think we need to remember that all communities are literally... Uh, a bundling together of, mm -hmm. of, of, of similar people that happen to be individual as well. But the conversation has to happen. I don't think, personally, I don't think that Peter Casey is racist. I don't think he's peddling hate. I think it's populist politics, and it's like everything else. You, you play a part to, to fulfil a role or to get votes. I do think that the people who voted for Peter Casey, I don't think they're, they're racist. I think that they're disenfranchised. I think that if you're constantly told that you cannot criticise a group of people in society, you're going to build resentment. And I will use the example about radical Islam in the exact same way. We are told that we cannot talk about, and that's only one example of, of lots, you're not allowed to criticise, otherwise you will offend. But if you're afraid to offend and you cannot talk about the criticisms, then you're not talking about the issues and the concerns. I would love... Nothing more than to sit down with Peter Casey and myself, have a drink with him, have a coffee with him, take on board his concerns, show him the human side, take away the, all, all the, the anti-traveller rhetoric, talk him through things and show him the human aspect. I think this man has probably gone through most of his life having never actually spoken to a traveller. Mm. And sometimes all you need in society is communication. If you can bring communication, empathy and some amount of compassion, I think we can build bridges.